for me, uh, the siege of Port Harcourt for 11 days with full security apparatus uh, indicates that we uh, is something beyond even that madame herself. You know, my last word to her is that just be a lady first before being a first lady. In fact, you cannot be a first lady without being a lady. And that's the only advice I have for her. Because now it is evident that she's getting away with murder in this country only because she has the backing of her husband. And that she's being used, in my view, politically. When things get a stage where an unelected person, a mere domestic appendage of power, can seize control of a place for 11 days, and as a result of her presence, the governor of that state is told by a policeman, you cannot pass here because the, the queen is there. I mean, what, 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 sort of, what sort of jungle are we living in? So again, there is at the very least a vicarious responsibility that must be laid at the door of President Jonathan. And above all, I'm calling on the president, now openly, publicly, please curb the excesses of your wife. You know, she's a wife, she's an unconstitutional being. She should not be empowered to such an extent that she's flouting the prerogatives, the rights, and the responsibilities of the governor of any state, be this Lagos, uh, or your state, uh, uh, Rivers, or wherever. Too much is too much. The papers have been crying. I read youth speak the other day on one of the pages of the papers, exactly the same thing. What is it? Is she the first first lady we've had in this, uh, in this, uh, in this nation? The vulgarity has really become intolerable. And it's being used, I notice, and this is the worst part of it, is now being used directly or indirectly to destabilize, or at least reduce the authority of an elected governor. And uh, we have now reached the bottom of obscenity, and it's got to stop.